Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. That felt uh -huh. very foreign to me. Sure. And it sure. felt much far, the resonance felt much farther back in my throat and in a part of my neck that I don't usually experience resonance in. It, it was just different. It was not uncomfortable. There were no red flags to me. It was just a very different way of making sound. I did okay. not know I could make sound like that, to be perfectly honest. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above <laughs> the world so high. I wanted to see what that high note felt like. So yeah. I wanted to keep going. <laughs> it felt like the sound sat really low in my throat, which is a very unusual feeling for me and very far back. Like it was hanging out in a cave I didn't know was back there. So it felt so, so far back and so low that I was like, what's it going to feel like to go to that up above? Because it's really not that high in my range, but it felt so different that I wanted to see what would happen. Mm -hmm. And, and what, what happened? It felt very, it felt a little different than the rest of the song. Dare I say maybe um, a little scratchy. Probably, to my ear, not the prettiest sound I have ever made, but it was definitely a different color. I mean, I'm thinking, whenever I think of big changes in color, I think of, you know, Wizard of Oz from black and white to Technicolor. And I, I definitely feel like, if I'm going to say my normal voice is black and white, then this was Technicolor for sure. It just felt very, very different than the sounds I normally make in speech or singing. But it's fun to know that I can get my voice to do that.